folks, it's time. A sad and somber looking Justin Trudeau made the walk down to Rideau Hall to ask our Governor General to dissolve Parliament and he called the election. Trudeau could have chosen any day he wanted up until Sunday to call the election, but the fact that he chose September 11th, where the world was remembering the 3,000 people lost in the World Trade Center terror attacks showed just how insensitive and out of touch this Prime Minister really is. But when it comes to being shameless, Justin Trudeau knows no bounds because just hours before he called the election, the Globe and Mail broke a story that will be impossible for Justin Trudeau to hide from. And that story is that Justin and his government are being investigated by the RCMP for potential obstruction of justice in the SNC-Lavalin case, but the RCMP didn't get very far in their investigation. Right in the middle of interviewing key people and obtaining documents, the investigation was shut down. So who shut them down? If you follow the crumb trail, you'll find all sorts of clues and misdirection, much like what they did with Ethics Commissioner Mario Dion's investigation, where they quickly put gag orders on and withheld important information. The key to the investigation is allowing cabinet members to speak, but in order to do so, the clerk of the Privy Council, Ian Sugard, has to waive cabinet confidentiality for them to do so, which he will not do. But if the Liberals have nothing to hide and they've done nothing wrong, why would they not be allowed to speak their truth? Why are these cabinet confidences so secretive that no one can know exactly what they are, including the RCMP? And where is Trudeau in all this? Well, the Globe reached out to his office and they were told that Trudeau had no role in the clerk's decision. But Trudeau does play a role in this decision and it's an important one. Clerk of the Privy Council is not above the Prime Minister of Canada. The clerk actually answers directly to Trudeau, not the other way around. The Prime Minister has the power to waive cabinet confidence and allow an open and transparent investigation. Trudeau doesn't want anyone to know his SNC secrets, and he's proven that time and time again in the last few months. He's also proven that he has zero respect for the rule of law in Canada. When Trudeau says he supports the clerk of the Privy Council's decision, he 100% means it because he's the one that has directed him to do so. He's been told to do everything he can to shut everyone up and lock away any damning evidence when it comes to this matter deep in the Liberal vault. He did it with the Justice Committee, he did it with the Ethics Commissioner, and now he's doing the exact same thing with the RCMP. But all in all, I'm not overly surprised by Trudeau's actions, because throughout the entire scandal, he has changed his story more times than we can count. And now that he's been found guilty of ethics violations, he blocks any further investigation so thoroughly that not even the RCMP can scratch the surface. They're not the actions of an innocent person. Trudeau has the power to waive cabinet confidentiality and allow total transparency on the matter. He just doesn't want to. So what exactly is Justin Trudeau hiding if he's as innocent as he claims? The RCMP must have been onto something because Justin Trudeau's election call timing couldn't have been more perfect for him because the RCMP have a policy that during an election campaign, they suspend all politically sensitive operations kind of information is really important to Canadian voters. We need to know if our current or future Prime Minister can be trusted, and clearly that's something we can't do with Justin Trudeau. Brian Lilly said, Canadians deserve better. Canadians deserve the truth. That's something Trudeau doesn't want to give them. So it's no wonder Trudeau isn't showing up for half of the debates. He can't campaign on his own record that is so full of scandals it's virtually impossible to defend. Rather than trying to defend that record and do something as simple as tell the truth to Canadians, Trudeau will run away and deflect all the blame on former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. None of Trudeau's behaviour makes him worthy of a second term as the Prime Minister of Canada, and if he wins this election, one thing we know for sure, that this RCMP investigation into his meddling of the SNC-Lavalin affair will be blocked and buried in the Liberal vault forever. Is this the type of Prime Minister Canadians want running our country? I don't think so.